Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. These are everything you never knew about Yemi Shodimo. Veteran Yoba actor, come broadcaster Yemi Shodimo started out as a backup singer. He was a backup singer to the popular Juju music legend Chief Ebenezer Obey Fabi. He was quite young back then. He backed up for Obey in the early 70s. This was before he delved into acting in 1976 when he ran into the cast of the village headmaster at a rehearsal at National Theatre Igomo in Lagos State. He approached the group and was welcomed to join the group and that was how he joined the group and started his acting career. Today, the Ogun State Bond Shodim has featured in several award-winning films like Oleku, Olewu, Shawurode, Agogoiwo and many others. He is also a former special advisor to ex-Ogun State Governor Otumba Benga Daniels. Yemi Shodimu is married and he lives in Lagos State with his family. Let's talk about his background. He grew up in Abeokuta. He also had his elementary education in Abeokuta. He attended Trinity Nursery and Primary School in Abeokuta, although he had his secondary education at St. Paul Secondary School in Lagos State. He later graduated from Eco Boys High School, where he sat for his West African School Certificate Examination. He graduated from Obafemi Awolowo University in Leife in Oshu State and had his National Youth Service at the National Television Authorities in Lauren, in Kwara State. He worked with Ruyu Communications for barely 10 years where he displayed his talents. Later, he left for his second degree where he got the master's degree in mass communications. Yemi Shodimu is also a popular radio television personality. He has hosted and anchored several Yoruba programs on radio and television. He also worked with NTA Mainframe Productions and before running his own company, Yemi Shodimu and Associates. So basically, he's a Yoruba actor, television presenter, producer, director, compare and a businessman. For Yemi Shodimu, acting happens to be his first love and this is a very essential part of what he does. For this veteran actor, every role that he plays was always chilling at the end, and he has taken vital roles in Tuluanile, Ayonimofe, Koshebe, Sharurede, Oleku, White Handkerchief, The Honorable, and many others. Where does he get his inspiration from? He said he gets his inspiration from God, and his mother was also very instrumental to his success. He said she gave him her blessings and lots of costly advices which made him to find everything easier later on in life. Let's talk about his personal life. Yemi Shodimu has been married for decades now and he has lovely kids, but he keeps his life quite private. He does not post about his children and once in a while he posts pictures of his wife. When he was asked about his children delving into communication and acting career, he had this to say. I will not force them to do anything. If they have a flair for it, why not? Who says that there can't be good innovation by the time they start acting and communicating? I'm aware of one or two of them who already have tendencies to do so. One can only encourage them to follow their passion because they're still young. So if they find it challenging enough, why not? On challenges that he has faced in his acting career, challenges are not different from what others have been talking about. One is not in the right environment to thrive due to lack of corporate sponsorship for arts. You find the government in private sectors like in America, so there is need for government to wake up to its responsibilities in providing an enabling environment for artists. Governments cannot fold the terms when pirates pull the work of artists, thus driving them out of the market. That is a major problem now. When your investments cannot fetch you profits, you are not encouraged to go on. In terms of patronage by the public, people need to encourage the artist. Even on the part of the practitioners, there is need for training. There is need for training for them to be able to compete very well with their international counterparts, he said. 19 years after playing the role of lovers in Tunde Kilani's Mayfrey production, Ole Ku, the virtual actor Yemi, and then Feike Mini Yola Yinka played lovers again in another movie. Coincidentally, these two actors have embraced broadcasting as their second career. These two featured in another movie titled Angel of Mind after their epic performance in Ole Ku. Fekam is known for being an anchor on popular television magazine program Uru Olawa, a Yoruba early morning talk show. 
Yemi Shodumu is also known for presenting Barada on Lagos Television LTV8. What are his sources of inspiration? God first and foremost, as mentioned earlier, and he has a lot of people that still inspires him. He will never forget the late Atalade. He served as a source of inspiration to him, and he admires the like of Olu Jacobs and Joke Silva. And when it comes to music, he admires the likes of Ebenezer Obe. He had actually said this times without number that after his youth call service, all he wanted to do then was join Ebenezer Obe's band. That was what he wanted to do because right from infancy, he has been exposed to his music in Abrokuta, and it was his late grandmother who influenced his love for Ebenezer Obe and other artists like the late Juro Ladipo. Just a while ago, Yamisho Demu also urged actors and actresses to upgrade themselves educationally so that they could improve on the qualities of movies they would be producing, on how Nigerian movies can compete with international counterparts. He had this to say. Yamisho Demu told the news agency in Lagos that the industry will be able to compete favorably with its counterparts internationally when artists are willing to acquire more knowledge. He said that artists could do this through researches, watching movies from other parts of the world, learning from successful artists within and outside the country. This would make them stand out. Continuous learning, in his words, is important in this profession and in any profession whatsoever. I learned from my senior colleagues, from researchers, and from the up-and-coming actors and actresses. Nobody is an encyclopedia of knowledge. Some of the up and coming actors and actresses are loaded with brilliant ideas. So we must see and embrace how it is done in other parts of the world and ensure the industry is improved on, he said. The movie industry is part of the largest society in Nigeria. Whatever rot is seen in it is a reflection of what is going on in the largest society. We should not expect that part of the society will be cleaner than the entirety. I believe each one of us should take care of a small corner to ensure the larger society is sanitized. The industry gets little or no support from anywhere and for it to have achieved so much, I give kudos to individual practitioners. The veteran actor also said that Nollywood must not be left solely for private individuals to grow. He said the government and corporate organization should show commitments to its growth. Oleku was one of the best movies that was shot many years ago, till date. And you can't compare it with any one of the movies being produced now. Doesn't that give concerns about the future of the movie industry? No doubt, Oleku was a good job. It is a film shot many years ago and still very relevant today. And when people try to assess standards and all that, we will get there. But just like you said before, there is so much to be done. We need to improve in the areas of quality control and all that. There have been some good films. We really need to make films that are better than Uleku because that is the only way we can beat our chest that we are developing, he said. We have come to the end of this episode on this veteran actor, Yemi Shodimo, and we hope you learned one or two things about him. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. And until next time, remain blessed.